assalamu alaikum friends uh, this is about uh, the performance evaluation performance appraisal module so to start with uh, uh, here is the master document for the performance evaluation performance appraisal in sap hcm uh, in the human resources we go to personal management uh, then personal development then settings then current settings then here is the edit qualification catalog that we had uh, worked on earlier and here is the edit appraisal catalog so the catalog is already there so we just need to update it and uh, update means that we can create new models so here are the new models uh, which we did uh, create in class and uh, if this is not fall 2019 uh, some other students are uh, watching this video then maybe uh, the models and their names can differ so these are the model ids and uh, these are the model descriptions or names and you can see the plus sign uh, which shows that actually a model contains some uh, uh, components, some objects within them. So these are the model objects. And as we studied uh, that uh, a model can create uh, um, uh, uh, a, a mini model within it and a model is al also worded as a criteria group. So this is the performance appraisal model 036. Uh, this is the model ID BS5002531. And this model actually, or the criteria group, uh, the both terms have the same meaning in SAP ERP, has four or uh, has five criteria. So this model or criteria group doesn't have another model or criteria group beneath it. It just contains five criteria. So the criteria are actually a objects that is start with BK. The model is uh, or the criteria group is start with BS. These are the IDs for the criteria. These are the IDs for the criteria group or the model itself the id and these are the descriptions and if we double click on it we can get some details so this is the model id this is the model name uh, this is a, a performance appraisal model a form of appraisal and out of the four types this is an individual appraisal other three possibilities are anonymous individual appraisal multi-source appraisal and anonymous multi-source appraisal appraisal and we did discuss that multi-source appraisal uh, are actually needed when there are more than one appraisers uh, for an appraising and this is the case in 360 degree appraisal and also bottom-up appraisal and there are plenty of other features in performance of uh, evaluation performance appraisal uh, application in sap erp uh, which we did discuss uh, so some of the additional data uh, uh, let's go to the present model again there is no data over here we can have some description as well and uh, this is the valid date uh, and uh, the uh, numbering is a standard there is uh, no further criteria important thing here and if we go to the result tab which is an important tab it sees that uh, it shall be measured on a scale of point scale of one to five and uh, uh, we can see that uh, out of the three possibilities in this scale, uh, required entry means uh, there must be something entered manually in this particular uh, model. So we uh, keep in mind that we are not actually looking the details of the criteria. We are looking the details of the model itself, the criteria group. So it's mentioned that there is no entry that the model uh, shell is not allowed to be entered and score manually. So we can have optional entry, we can have required entry, means mandatory manual entry, and we can have no entry. When we say no entry, it means there must be some sort of calculation for the model, and the calculation is based on average of the criteria. Right? So, and these are the proficiencies of one to five. So one is transfer poor, two for the adequate, three for average, and then accordingly four and five for good and very good. So having seen it, we now see the, we double click the one of the criteria of the model. And this is the criteria of the model time management. This is the ID, this is the name of, this is the validity date. And uh, again, we can see the results are measured on a scale of one to five. And there is no calculation because it is a required entry. It means that this criteria is provided with a manual score. So we need to enter the score manually from a scale of one to five. So that the model then can work out the average of these five criteria based on the manual entries and uh, just to uh, just to uh, uh, again show that uh, we could have checked here optional entry which means that uh, even if we don't enter any grade any any point scale uh, while performing the uh, performance appraisal from this model the system will accept it as zero 
uh, but when we have mentioned it required entry whenever we are using going to use this model and this particular criteria the system must ask for an entry from a scale of one to five so this is how we displayed it and if we want to create another model we just need to keep the cursor on the catalog and then we push this button insert new appraisal model and here is the new appraisal model so i am creating the sample model so sample model and here is the default dates which i am accepting and uh, uh, form of appraisal is performance appraisal appraisal type is individual so we have just worked on these two and for the next two tabs there is no additional entry required and the results tab here we can mention the criteria we are looking for so for example i am actually i want to have it uh, on the standard criteria of uh, one to six rather than for scale and no entry in the model it has to be average of uh, uh, the its uh, constituents i save it i close it and the new model is there there is no plus sign because there is no criteria beneath it i select it so now in order to create criteria for this model i have to select this model first so i select this model and uh, there is a spelling mistake which we can just uh, double click and uh, correct so oh, let me correct it and save it again so that it's correct now i selected it and keep my cursor i have to keep my cursor on the sample model from in, uh, in which i want to create some criteria and I insert a criteria the system is asking do I want to create a mini model within it criteria group or a criteria so I want to create a criteria and the criteria name is say this uh, and uh, we accept the default dates and our result is uh, by default uh, standard criteria 1 to 6 we can override this but we want to keep it as it is and we make it a required entry of course no calculation we save it and right from here we can create a new criteria so the new criteria is uh, for example and uh, again the same results so we don't need to change anything else uh, but we need to make it a required entry and we entered and we saved and we crossed so you can see that the two criteria have been created here and now we can actually make use of this model in the performance appraisal so this was about the appraisal catalog and in the next video we shall see how to use this catalogs uh, uh, to do the performance appraisals thank you